Okay, so this is the pump I use from Harbor Freight to water my garden. I really only use it because it shoots the water further out of the sprinkler and makes it where I don't gotta use it as long. You gotta make sure you get this plastic hose like this coming from the spigot so it don't collapse when the pump kick on. And get your hose and whatever type of sprinkler you're gonna use. I just bought this new fertilizer, this siphon tube fertilizer thing. I'm about to put this on here so I can fertilize my whole garden without MFing around all day using this to pour in each individual plant. One thing you want to remember that most people don't tell you when you water plants like this, new plants, is that this is a potato and it's only probably two inches under the dirt. So you don't need to wait and water for 20 seconds and let the whole thing get saturated because a lot of times that'll be counterproductive. The roots are still close to the top where you planted them at. So you don't want to waste a whole bunch of fertilizer and water on it. And soon as it take about two seconds worth of water to get to the roots and just surround the roots with water. See over here, I got buckets. And the buckets, it take 10 seconds worth of water to get to the bottom. This rosemary, I bought it from Walmart last year and put it in here, it's still growing. So you don't wanna waste a whole bunch of water trying to soak the whole thing with new plants because they don't need that much water, you just waste the water. I'm gonna add some more dirt to the top of this. Help the plant stand up better. See how easy that plant got knocked over. This is broccoli and cabbage. This is lettuce. When it get hotter, as the months get hotter, you'll want to, look at that frog. You'll want to saturate the dirt more often. Saturate the dirt more so that the roots can reach down and the roots will be longer than the roots can uh, reach down and get the water. Let's see. These leaves land in the dirt and make the plant go bad. So you gotta make sure. I got a wand. I took it apart to clean it because it was spraying funny. You really want to use the wand to reach up under the bottom of the plant. But this little thing came with the siphon, so I'm just trying it out. I made my own uh, fish emulsion in that barrel. I'm going to start using it. This is all onions. I'm gonna use my fish emulsion on the onions I got in the ground over there and these onions so I can know which one, if it work or not, compared to the rest of the onions I got planted. I took these asparagus plants out the bucket and replanted them with some good dirt. I got purple asparagus over there. So I really wanna, uh, the roots is at the bottom. So I really, this one ain't come out at all yet. I really want to get the water down to the bottom. So the, I always do the 10 seconds on the bucket to make sure it reaches the bottom. 